Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Check us out at shopmoto.com for all of your riding needs. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new jacket from Fly Street. This is their Terra Trek 4 Adventure slash Touring Jacket. So let's have a look. This is the newest updated version of the Fly Street Terra Trek jacket. This is a touring slash adventure style jacket, so it's a great option under that $200 price point. It's packed full of features, so let's jump right into it. But before we get started, click the upper right hand corner of your screen. This will subscribe you to our YouTube channel and it will also keep you in the loop with the latest gear, new products, and tech tips. So let's get started with the outer shell of this jacket. They're using the poly fabric textile material. This is a 600D nylon, which is great at abrasion resistance, also tear resistance, and they reinforce the key crash zones like the elbow and along the forearm with ballistic nylon panels. So extra protection there. Now speaking of that, you do have CE certified armor in the shoulders and in the elbows, and this jacket comes standard with a PE foam back pad. You can always upgrade to a CE certified back protector if you're looking for more protection. So check the website shopmoto.com for more info on that. Now let's talk about the overall fit of this jacket. Now this is primarily aimed toward touring slash adventure touring riding. So you're going to be in the upright position, the way you're sitting on the motorcycle is a little bit different than in the tuck position. So arms straight out, you're sitting straighter up and it's going to have a nice taper at the bottom. You have a more of a three quarter style jacket with a super long drop tail. So this is going to give you plenty of coverage while you're in that type of riding position. Now the fit of this jacket is very roomy. It's primarily aimed towards sport touring and uh, adventure touring riding. So it's going to accommodate a lot of room in the torso and in the arms. A lot of people like to add base layers, a mid layer. So you might not uh, have to accommodate so much room for this jacket because it even fits about a half size to a full size too big. Now I'm 5'10", about 200 pounds, and I'm swimming in this extra large. And that's typically the size range that I'm in is a large to an extra large, depending on what type of jacket. So just keep that in mind when you're considering this jacket. Another thing is the collar is nice and tall in the back. So this is going to give you plenty of coverage against the elements on your neck and it even will uh, tuck in the back of your helmet just depending on how long your neck is. So that's a great comfort feature as well as a protection aspect. Now speaking of comfort, the inside collar is lined with micro fleece so it's very soft and comfortable against your skin and right at the Adam's apple on the flap here you have neoprene so this is going to be super comfortable against the the Adam's apple and it won't chafe or irritate your skin. Now what's really nice is that this jacket has a lot of adjustment so that you can dial in the fit because it does fit a little bit big. Now starting in the bicep you have a velcro adjustment here followed by a forearm adjustment so this is going to pull in any extra slack so that the jacket fits nice and snug but it's also going to keep that armor in place to give you the best protection possible. Now you do have volume adjustments in the torso really because it's just above the hip so you don't really have a waist adjustment. However, it's going to tune the fit so it fits properly. So you have that velcro adjustment there and then inside the front lower pockets you have a shock cord to cinch the waist together as well. So it's really going to give you that tapered fit that you're looking for. Now in that side area you also have a zippered expansion gusset so this is going to let the jacket out just a bit if you're needing more room in that torso area. And then you have a simple velcro cuff enclosure. Now there's a lot of storage in this jacket for all of your items as you're going on your long rides. So starting in the chest you have two cargo style pockets that are waterproof and they're backed with zippers so this will keep your more personable items nice and dry and safe. Now the lower pockets are just as functional. They have a Velcro flap, however they are a waterproof pocket as well because they have that nice storm flap on them and that's also where those shock cords are located if you wanted to adjust the jacket. Now at the back of the jacket you have a huge cargo style pocket that goes the entire width of it so this is great for maps or perhaps uh, storing your liner in there so very functional as well. And just behind those lower cargo pockets you have two zippered hand warmer style pockets for additional storage. This is definitely a three season riding jacket. So you have your winter, spring, fall months. That's where this jacket will excel. More of a cold weather riding jacket because it'll keep you warm and it's also going to keep you dry because the fabric is infused with the HydroGuard liner. So this isn't a removable rain liner or anything. You don't have to worry about that extra bulk, which is really nice because it also keeps the jacket windproof. Now, when you start to venture into those hotter summer months, if you wanted to stretch this jacket out into it, depending on where you're at, you have a lot of venting to help keep you cool. 
So starting in the collarbone, you have a vent that goes all the way down to the top of the bicep. This is going to flare open when you're in the riding position, allowing all of that cool air to flow through the jacket. Now to help with the ventilation, you have these massive intake vents in the front of the jacket. So starting out just uh, below the chest, making its way down to the bottom of the zipper, these are going to also flare out to really scoop in that cool air to keep you comfortable. Now, the exhaust vents are a little bit different. You have more of an open type of exhaust vent, but you can adjust them with this Velcro tab. So you can have the, the exhaust vents open completely to allow all of that hot air to flow through, or you can kind of close it off just a little bit to taper it, the amount of air to flow through. So you have a little bit of adjustability there. Now, there is a lot of passive safety as well. You have reflective piping that starts at the collar, makes its way down all the way to almost the bottom of the sleeve, and then wraps its way back up to the top of the back of the collar. So that's great as far as rider safety. You even have a little bit more patches there on the sleeves as well, just for a little added nighttime safety. Let's move to the interior. You have a change here at the collar. They took away that loop and added a piece of Velcro just to make it easier for you to fold this tab over to open up that collar for additional airflow. Now you have a zipper garage at the top with micro fleece. So this is going to be, again, comfortable against your skin and it's going to prevent that zipper from snagging on your neck, which you'll definitely appreciate. And then if we open up the zipper a little bit more, you can see more of that micro fleece coming down a couple more inches just for added coverage. Now, the main entrance to the jacket has a YKK zipper along with Velcro for a nice closure system, and then you have a snap at the very bottom. You do have a storm flap with a rain gutter, so this is going to catch any of that extra water from seeping through the zipper. And then you have a Napoleon-style pocket just on the inside on the left for uh, more storage. Now, you can see that internal liner. It is a thermal full sleeve lighter like we had mentioned before. It's very easily removable. You have one zipper that goes across the entire front half of the jacket. And then you have a few snaps to remove it and then boom, you're on your way. However, you can see those pockets that are on the liner. You have both the cell phone and cargo style pocket as we mentioned before. And then just beneath that, you have those same pockets. You have an eight inch zipper to connect to a pair of pants for extra coverage. And then you have the belt loops for attachments. So there it is guys, that is the Fly Street Terra Trek 4 jacket. Now it's a lot for under 200 bucks, so it's definitely something to think about. Now, it is available in five total colors, including a high-vis. It's available in sizes small through 4XL, and it comes in tall sizes, medium through 3XL, only available in black. So to find more info on this, visit us at shopmoto.com, and remember to subscribe to us on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Matt, and we'll see you next time.